Hey, welcome to Haphazard Homestead. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see this plant? If you know what this plant is, I know you're excited now. Because this is, hands down, the number one weed to eat growing in the garden or out in the wild. It's lamb's quarter. In this video, I'm headed out to pick some lamb's quarter here on the homestead, and then I'm going to cook it up with the only recipe that anyone needs to know. Lamb's quarter shows up in disturbed soils in early summer. It's the easiest thing in the world to pick at this stage. I just pull it up and tear off the roots. That's it. But I don't always pull up the whole plant. When the plant is older, I pinch the tips out and just use those. One advantage to picking those tips is that the lamb's quarter branches out and then I can come back to the same place and pick more over and over again. Two distinctive features of lamb's quarter are its triangular leaves and that white residue on its growing tips. So there's the lamb's quarter. You can see it there. This is kind of a decent size. All you're trying to do in harvesting is take that tip like that. It's just nice and tender. It just snaps. It doesn't snap off. You just have to pinch it off. That's all. Now, if you want to pick every leaf off, you can. It has kind of a slick feel. It feels like there's grit that kind of feels a little wet. It's that white stuff. That's supposed to be there. That's its hydrophobic coating. When you put it in water, it sheds water. It's a hydrophobic coating. See how it rubs off? It's just so distinctive of lamb's quarter. All right, so here's our lamb's quarter. You can see the little vid, the little tops. It has a gritty kind of feel. It's not gritty, it feels wet as soon as it has a like a white little coating that comes off as soon as you touch it. What we're gonna do, I'm just gonna rinse it real quickly just to make sure we don't have some garden dirt in it. And then we're gonna just cook it up. It's the easiest thing in the world. Mm. Lamb's quarter is so good. Mm. Mm. It's good raw, it is even better. It is so good cooked. Now this is a unique property of lamb's quarter. You can see I've got a tub of water here. It's got water. But it doesn't just get wet. It's that little coating on the leaves that makes lamb's quarter leaves kind of hydrophobic. It's water resistant. Some will come off in the water, but you don't have to wash all that off. That's part of the lamb's quarter. It is so easy to cook lamb's quarter. This entire batch took less than three and a half minutes from start to finish. I just put it in a pan with the water that clings to its leaves and then I stir it around. Sometimes I add a little extra water, but nothing else. It cooks down so fast and it smells so good. There it is. Now all you have to do, put a little nice salt on there. And you are set. So is lamb's quarter any good? Here's a live testimonial. That is so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's why it's a good thing the dandelions come first. Because uh, once you have this, oh. So that's the only recipe anyone needs to know to really enjoy lamb's quarter. Otherwise, lamb's quarter can be used exactly like spinach or Swiss chard. But lamb's quarter is too tasty of a weed to want to hide its great flavor. Well, I hope things are going well at your place. I appreciate your comments. And if this is your first time here, I hope you'll subscribe so you don't miss out on the wild things we're always eating here at Haphazard Homestead. Thanks for watching. Bye.